Hello everyone. Do you encounter these errors during application installation or while you try to open it? Then I can assure you to follow this tutorial. In the previous video, I've shown you how to fix these error codes. In today's video, we will continue to identify the causes and learn how to fix them. Now, let's dig in. Error code 191. Why are you getting error 191? Error 191 generally occurs in the following scenarios. 1. Your system login account does not have administrator privileges. To verify that your system login account has administrator privileges, press Windows plus R on your keyboard to open the run box. Type this command and click OK to open Advanced User Accounts control panel. Ensure that the current user account is assigned to administrators under group in the user's tape. In case your system login account doesn't have administrator privileges, follow along. Select the account you want to change within Users for the computer. Click the Properties button. Within the Group Membership tab, select Administrator as a user account. Click Apply and then OK. 2. Verify that the following folders have read and write access. To do this, open the local disk C. Open the User folder and then open the Current User Account folder. Here you will see an App Data folder. In case yours is not available, click on the View tab and select Hidden Items to show the App Data. Enter the App Data, open the Local folder. Scroll to the bottom and find the Temp folder. Right-click the folder and select Properties. If the folder does not have Read and Write access, go to the Security tab and click Edit. Check the box for Read and Write in the Allow column. After that, click on Apply. Scroll back to the top and do the same settings for packages. Three, this error also occurs when your device does not meet the system requirements to install a universal Windows platform app or Windows installation has failed to sideload a UPA package. To enable sideload, go to Settings. Click on Update and Security. In the left pane, click for Developers. In the right pane, under Use Developer Features, select Sideload Apps. Click Yes to confirm and after that, restart your computer. Four, make sure your Windows is up to date. To do so, navigate to Start, select Settings, and then Update and Security. Click on Windows Update to search for available updates for you to install. Before we continue to another error, a sub for the channel will be great. Now let's continue. Error Code 44. You can experience this error when the installer was unable to create a critical file or directory. First, end all Adobe programs that are running in the Computer Task Manager. If the problem is not solved, proceed with the next solution. Head over to the Adobe website and download the Creative Cleaner tool. I will leave the link in the video description below. Choose the operating system you are using and then click on the download button. After the download is complete, right-click the download file and select Run as Administrator. Choose the language that you want by typing the corresponding letter and then press Enter. Read the Adobe End User License Agreement and accept it. Type the number that corresponds to the option you want to select. For example, Enter 6 if you want to uninstall Creative Cloud only. But in this case, we will uninstall all Adobe applications listed. So type 1 and press Enter. Confirm that you want to remove the entry by typing Y and then press Enter. When you see the message that the Adobe Creative Cloud Cleaner tool completed successfully, press Enter and restart your computer. Reinstall the Creative Cloud Desktop app and use different Adobe ID credentials and also make sure you stop the antivirus program on your computer before installing the Creative Cloud Desktop app. Error Code 304. For everyone facing this error 304, first, you need the correct Creative Cloud installer. Maybe the automated download page may not be accurately detecting your OS version, so you must select the correct installer. Before you do that, download Creative Cloud Uninstaller from Adobe. I will leave the link in the video description below. Scroll down to locate the uninstaller for the Windows version. For Mac OS users, you can download yours here. After the download, locate the zip file and extract it. Run the extracted file as an administrator. Here the program will ask you, are you sure you want to uninstall Adobe Creative Cloud app? Go ahead and select uninstall. Wait for it to uninstall successfully. The next thing to do is check for an available update for your OS. Disable real-time protection or any third-party antivirus program on the computer. 
After these processes, restart the computer and reinstall the Creative Cloud desktop app. I hope this video tutorial helps you. Hit the thumbs up and stay tuned.